what is up guys Zan from playbook.gg and in today's video we're going to wrap up our gun empty Y Saint three day mini scheme with the play Y stick. Before we dive into this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the great tutorials that we've got headed your way here on the playbook.gg YouTube channel. Okay guys so welcome back. Now in today's video we're going to wrap up the mini scheme that we've been doing on the channel over the last three days. Now keep in mind that we're trying to teach ideas and things to have your mind in a spot to prepare for Madden 20. So yesterday's video in the day before that we're kind of focused on beating man coverage because a lot of the rumors and kind of the uh reactions from the beta if you will were that man coverage was kind of overpowered and um i personally didn't believe that to be the case but uh, you know i'm just trying to get you guys in a spot where you guys are thinking forward to next year's game so rather than forcing the meta down your throat to end madden 19 i want to kind of set you guys in the right spot for madden 20. now one thing that i do think is meta in this year's game but will also apply to next year's game is the play y stick now what we're going to do here is we're going to focus on this against zone so we're going to go over zone coverage choose random zone and what you're going to notice with this play is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the running back on a route and motion him in so he becomes a tight end. Now from there, what you can end up doing is blocking your tight end and your running back, smart route, the post route. And this post route, in my opinion, is very, um, very similar to the patch sale post. It gets into a great spot in the field that's too deep for a deep zone, or I'm sorry, too shallow for a deep zone, but too deep for a hook zone or a cloud flat. So what you can end up doing with this play is just kind of buying time in the pocket, wait on this post to break down, and you're just gonna throw that ball into that void basically underneath the deep zone and behind a cloud flat. So this is something that you'll be able to do pretty consistently. Um, I think that it's um, I think that it's going to be a play that ties in nicely with the rest of the stuff that we've been doing here. So the setup that I'm running is just motion the running back in, then you have to individually block the running back in the tight end. Max protect will not work for some reason, but you can still block them. And then you're going to put the slot receiver on a streak or a fade. And then the underneath receiver can be on a in route, a drag, something you could play maker, just something to give you a check down. What you're going to see here is that the more you kind of buy time right here, we're just kind of waiting, waiting, waiting. You can see that that post gets open. Now, unfortunately, Drew Brees isn't a mobile quarterback. I'm just using the Saints because it is the Saints playbook. Uh, but you can definitely tell here that this is going to be something that you can, uh, you could definitely exploit the zone coverage with this post route. So we'll go ahead and try to illustrate that for you here over the next couple reps. You can definitely see that the Y post just gets into a really nice spot on the field. Um, very similar to the gun bunch week pat sale that's found in the Patriots book and also in the Buccaneers playbook. Book. So uh, obviously right here, what we're doing is just focusing on that particular post route because it's a route that's going to beat man coverage pretty consistently. Uh, when you think about it from a man coverage standpoint, it is the inside receiver. Uh, so if I were to go ahead and call this play against man to man coverage, a lot of times what you're going to end up getting is some sort of outside linebacker, slot corner, or a safety, depending on what type of coverage shell they're in, playing the man to man on the receiver. So if I were to go to concepts or play types and go to man coverage, you're gonna notice that we're gonna get a variety of players. So right here, it looks like an outside linebacker's on Ted Ginn. And you're just gonna see that this route will beat man-to-man -man as well because it's gonna get really nice separation when you have those mismatches. This isn't the same as having your outside wide receiver in the bunch against the opponent's best defensive back. This is gonna be a spot where you're working a receiver against a number two or a number three or a number four corner, maybe a, a strong safety, an outside linebacker. You should be in a spot where you're able to exploit the coverages pretty well against man to man. So while this is a great zone beating route, it also will beat man to man next year just simply by how this formation is aligned. As you can tell here, you've got Alvin Kamara, the running back out there at the outside receiver. Uh, so if you know that they're in man-to-man, -man, go ahead and use comebacks. I mean, comeback routes are great man-beating routes. They have been for eternity. Uh, you can see that it does a pretty good job. Uh, he actually drops it there. You can also put a uh, running back that has higher route running at that spot, but you're gonna notice that comeback routes are pretty good. So uh, you just wait for him to get to the top of the route, assuming that Aaron Donald doesn't uh, wreck your left guard. And uh, you'll, you'll be able to throw that ball as he turns around at the top of the route and uh, tries to get back to the quarterback. So you see right here, we're just gonna go ahead and throw it and you catch it and roll. So uh, you can see that with that route, you could beat man to man as well. So while this is a nice zone beating play, it doesn't mean that you cannot mix in a few things. You see right here, we can motion them inside and run a comeback route from the slot. Um, it's just kind of some things that you can do to mix up and hedge your bet against both man and zone. So you see here, man to man coverage, you're still gonna be looking for that comeback route. You see that he, he beats that, you're able to rat catch it and try to turn up field. 
You also have the post that can beat man and it can also beat zone. And then you have your underneath options as well. So really thought that this would be a nice way that you can kind of round out the year with something different that was also forward thinking into Madden 20. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in our next video. If you like this video, check out one of the videos on your screen right now. And for more in-depth analysis, visit www.playbook.gg for detailed game plans written by pro Madden players. Master the game with playbook.gg.